talking about this, that tractor trailer overturning on I-75. Bottles of orange juice spilled all over the road. And Local 10 News reporter Ian Margul is live at the scene of the crash in Northwest Miami-Dade with the latest on those cleanup efforts. Seems like it'd be a sticky mess out there, Ian. It absolutely will be. There is orange juice all over the ground over here, but I want you to take a look over here. This is clearly where this started. The driver losing control here on northbound 75, crashing into this barrier before running into that post up there that is supporting this construction project that is going on. We want to take you to some aerial video here for Metro. You can see just how big this accident is from overhead. Apparently, when I spoke to Florida Highway Patrol, they told me this driver lost control, crashed through this barrier and into this post. Now, the good news here, this driver, although he was taken to the hospital, fortunately in good condition somehow. It's an absolute miracle to hear that. Now, I want to take you to some video from here on the ground. You can really see the extent of this damage. We can see this blue truck. It's a Florida Beauty trailer, of course, carrying that orange juice. We told you this simply orange, orange juice. The blue trailer was halfway on its side the uh, the tractor trailer the white part in the back completely ripped open in the front an absolutely unbelievable accident back out here live in northwest miami dade we want you to take a look here at i mean you can see these piles of orange juice the crews will be have been out here this morning trying to clean this up we were told by the construction crews that were out here this was a, a scene that was clear this morning so fortunately no one in the scene was injured either but again the good news guys this driver taken to the hospital in good condition. We do not know if the weather was in fact a factor in this. I spoke to Florida Highway Patrol. They said they were unsure. You gotta imagine that certainly did not make this any easier for them when he was in this situation and also for the first responders that got here. We're gonna bring you the very latest on this as soon as more information becomes available to us. For now, we are live in Northwest Miami-Dade. Ian Margo, Local 10 News.